So the surgery we're going to be performing on this next patient is called a minimally invasive laminectomy decompression. She has lumbar stenosis, very common diagnosis. What it causes is pain down the legs and sometimes pain in the low back. We'll be working through some small incisions, shaving down some of the arthritis that's developed in her spine and decompressing the nerve roots. What's particular about this case is that she's had a prior fusion at her lower L5-S1 lumbar segment. And I believe that's why she's developing this stenosis at this level. Essentially, the fusion has transferred some of the stress, uh, excess stress to the L4-5 and even the L3-4 levels, and those levels have developed. One level has a disc herniation and the other level has real stenosis on the nerve roots. So we're not fusing any bones today. We're just gonna be shaving down a little bit of the arthritis and giving those nerves some room to breathe. So we're about to get started with our second case of the day here at the surgery center. We just got done with a disc replacement in the lumbar spine. And this next patient has had a prior fusion at L5-S1 that was done by another surgeon. Um, she came to me because she's having, I think she's four or five years out from her fusion, which went well, uh, but now she's having recurrent pain, back pain and leg pain. She's having problems with nerve impingement, sciatic pain, shooting down her legs. I think it's worse on her right side. Um, <clears throat> I'll show you the films in a little bit and try to help walk you through, you know, what's happening and why she's got these symptoms and give you a little course in spine surgery and in radiology. All right, here we are. We just got done with this last surgery. As I explained, we did a minimally invasive decompression surgery, uh, really just one small incision. We worked through a very small retractor to minimize any tissue trauma. Uh, the goal of the surgery is to shave down a little bit of the arthritis that's developed overlying the nerve roots and uh, just to unroof the nerves and allow them a little bit more breathing room. So we did that at the L3-4 level and at the L4-5 level on one side and um, when we're done we make sure that everything has got all the space that it needs and um, close up and the patient should be in recovery at this point. She's gonna spend about an hour to two hours there letting the medication wear off that she got for anesthesia and then hopefully get up moving around and get her home. I expect her to feel better immediately after surgery. Her back's gonna be a little bit sore but the leg pain that she was experiencing, the pain down both her legs that she was experiencing should abate right away. Sometimes the nerves take a little bit of time to kind of wake up and kind of find their new home. Uh, and, and people can experience some intermittent numbness or tingling and some intermittent pain uh, during that period, uh, but that should continue to, to ease over the next couple weeks. When we see her back in clinic, we usually see him, her first post-op visit is at two weeks just to check the wound. At that point, I would expect her legs to be feeling much better. It's possible she could have some residual leg pain, and um, that, that may just take a little bit of time to, to ease. Her back pain should continue to improve over the next two to six weeks though.